Yeah, yo, what's going on guys? Seth Spartan here with Prometheus HRT, Testosterone and Hormone Replacement Clinic. Guys, stay focused. This is going to be an awesome video, something we absolutely have to cover, especially since it's uh, breakthrough and popularity in the recent years in terms of bodybuilding, fitness, athletics. So guys, here we go. This is DNP Unleashed. DNP, the fat burner, unleashed everything you need to know, all the pros, all the cons, dosage, additional information, everything in one video covered A to Z. So guys, I'm Seth Spartan, here we go. So what's the first thing that you need to know with DNP? Well, first and foremost, guys, I need to put this out here. So. Again, like I said, uh, this is, you know, all these videos done for Prometheus HRT, Testosterone Hormone Replacement Clinic. Having said all of that, and I would say this anyways, even if I was not uh, working with them, working for them, etc., this needs to be said. I do not condone DNP usage, whether legal in your country, illegal, doesn't matter. DNP is just not safe. We're going to get into that with the cons. So guys, make sure you watch this video to the end. Stick around for the cons because we're going to talk about some pretty serious sides. But having said that, I'm going to keep this completely unbiased. Both ways, pros, cons, dosage, additional information, everything. Guys, this is your one-stop shop video on DNP. I'm Seth Spartan. Let's go. So first and foremost, what do you need to know? Let's start with the pros. Let's talk about, again, unbiased, uncensored, just like all of the Unleashed videos. All right, DNP. What is it? What is DNP? Most people, if they're involved in bodybuilding, fitness, athletics, they've heard of DNP, but really, what is it chemically? DNP is known as 2,4-dinitrophenol. Now, to those of you that um, you know are not in chemistry, uh, what does this mean? What is 2,4-dinitrophenol, also known as DNP for for short, well, guys, what you need to know is really just two words. Myochondrial uncoupler, myochondrial uncoupler, or mitochondria uncoupler. Uh, so, but, I, but I'm, uh, I assume that myochondrial is the correct way of saying it. Anyways, so what is DMP? It's a mitochondrial uncoupler. What does this mean? Inside human cells, uh, if you've taken, you know, I think, I think they cover this in high school, but if you've taken high school or college anatomy, uh, you know that the mitochondria inside the human cells are what? They're basically the power station of the cell, uh, giving the cell basically uh, energy and ATP and um, uh, you know keeping the metabolic functions of the cell running. Okay, it's the power station, all right? So what does a mitochondrial uncoupler mean? This basically just means that uh, two comma four dash dinitrophenol or DMP for short, uh, does what? It basically uncouples uh, energy that is leaving the mitochondria, making it hard for uh, the mitochondria to synthesize energy, okay? So, and you can, you can look up uh, the data sheets on DMP and how it works, it's amazing, uh, but all you really need to know to summarize is that uh, it's going to prevent the mitochondria uh, from uh, synthesizing energy and supplying the cell with energy depending on what dose taken. So what does this mean? This is what you guys have all been waiting for. DNP, dinitrophenol, extreme fat burning effect. DNP, again, giving credit where credit is due, saying it how it is, like with all the Unleashed videos, whether steroids or whatever, I'm whatever we're talking about, DNP is an extreme fat burner period and it's effective extremely effective all right that's what needs to be said so yes it's an extreme fat burner and specifically calorie in calories total it's an extreme calorie burner um so you know yes it's going to oxidize and burn fat um basically because your mitochondria is not effective at at um synthesizing um uh, energy sources, but what's going to happen here is calories, whether it's uh, your body trying to use glucose or specifically the mitochondria, whether your mitochondria is trying to use glucose, 
whether it's trying to use free floating fatty acids or even protein uh, amino acids, well, your body would turn that first into glucose for fuel, but whether you're using glucose or uh, fatty acids or protein that's been turned into glucose, we're talking huge caloric burn, okay? We're, you, we're talking about a huge increase in calories burned, period, okay? Moving on, what's another pro with DNP usage? Just putting everything out there. Insulin sensitivity, huge increases and upticks in insulin sensitivity. And uh, this is whole body insulin sensitivity because DNP is affecting the body as a whole. Uh, calories are being just basically just burned, burned and lost right away into energy. So huge whole body insulin sensitivity increases and upticks, okay? And this is, guys, this is a good thing. This is extremely beneficial for people that have type 2 diabetes, uh, people that are pre-diabetic, or people that just, you know, have metabolic disorders. We're going to cover that in a second. So next in the pros of metabolic disorders, you know, to basically summarize, summarize this, guys, you can type in metabolic disorders into Google and you can get a list. But basically what you need to know is most, almost all metabolic disorders are caused by what? an issue with your metabolism, aka being overweight and also not carrying enough muscle, okay? Usually it's a combination of the two, but um, directly related to being too fat, okay? That's the bottom line. That's, that's what you need to understand in the basics, okay? So moving on from metabolic, oh, this is extremely beneficial for metabolic disorders. Fats coming off, insulin sensitivity increasing, the metabolism is getting primed and it's doing a great job at um, really, really what? Ripping off calories and um, metabolic disorders. This is, uh, this is huge, especially for things like diabetes, insulin resistance, um, and the such. Moving on. Last pro on our list. Here we go. Weight loss. Weight loss. Let me explain because there's a difference here uh, bes besides extreme fat burning and weight loss. In medical studies, after they, after they, you know, after they observed the powerful fat burning and weight loss effects of DNP, they did medical studies. But this is really what you need to know: DNP, two comma four dash dinitrophenol. Yes, it's an extreme fat burner, but above that is it is an it is an extreme weight loss uh, compound. Now, the reason that I have to differentiate this from fat burning is because when using dinitrophenol, if you're using dinitrophenol, again, I, I stick with me for the cons, and I'm going to explain why uh, no matter what the legality is, I actually believe dinit uh, uh, dinitrophenol is legal uh, in the U.S. for, for uh, various things, but absolutely not for human consumption, uh, whether prescribed or it's not even able to be prescribed, but let's let's get into this. So, Let's talk about weight loss and why this is different than extreme fat burning. When DMP is being used, okay, 2 comma 4 dash dinitrophenol, right? When DMP is being used, yes, it's going to be an extreme fat burner, but even above that is weight loss in general. In medical studies, you're ripping off everything. You're ripping off fat. You're ripping off muscle. You're ripping off, it's just a, a huge extreme weight loss uh, compound. So it, the fat's coming off, the muscle's coming off, everything's coming off, okay? This can be problematic for bodybuilding, fitness, athletics because the caloric burn with, it's literally a burner, okay? So the, the uh, caloric burn with DMP and the strain on the metabolism, depending on dose taken, can be is so great that you can lose a lot of muscle mass on DMP, Okay, just because of how hard the metabolism is trying to work to supply the body with energy. So weight loss, muscles coming off, fats coming off. And this is just one small reason why I don't recommend, why, why I would also, besides the dangers we're going to get into, not recommend DNP for bodybuilding, fitness, athletics. All right. All right, guys, we covered the pros. Everything you need to know about DNP as in the pros with this compound. Let's get into the cons and tell you guys why you should never use this regardless of legality. And even if you have a doctor working with you, let's talk about this. DMP, starting with the cons. Con number one with DMP, death. 
All right, short, sweet, to the point. DNP, what's the first con we have? Death. Why? That's the question. Why? Listen up. DNP, the effective dose versus the lethal dose, that's what kills you, is extremely close in medical studies. Let me say that again. With DNP, the effective dose that's required for fat burning and uh, weight loss and whatever else you're using it for, but primarily those two, the effective dose compared to the lethal dose is extremely close in medical studies. Let me give an example. If we compare morphine, if we compare caffeine, if we compare uh, even uh, what's what's a hydrocodone, it's Vicodin, if we compare uh, many drugs, okay, and this was noted in the medical studies with DMP, the effective dose, the dose needed to exert, you know, the effects, in our case, fat burning, weight loss, is, cl is dangerously close to the lethal dose. What do I mean? If you take a thousand milligrams of DMP, it's easy to die, okay, depending on how much you weigh. And the effective dose could be, again, I'm not trying to give dosages, but effective dose could be somewhere between 200 to uh, 200 to 800, 200 to 600. So you can see here that the danger is uh, is high. The danger is very high. Just there's no other other scapegoat way to say that. Okay. So in, you know if we're talking caffeine, if we're talking opioids, if we're talking other drugs, which are even are considered dangerous caffeine, not so much, but people do overdose on caffeine, okay? Cause heart attacks, um, even cocaine, you know? So the effective dose is dangerously close to the lethal dose, and that makes this an extremely dangerous uh, compound to use. So that's con number one, and if that wasn't big enough, let's talk about overheating. Con number two, overheating. This can cause heat exhaustion or even heat stroke, depending on, again, how much taken. So heat exhaustion, we know what that is. Heat stroke, people know what that is. I don't have to explain that. But the big con is, big second con is overheating, okay? And this is obviously dependent on dose taken. Moving on, fatigue. And this can be extreme depending on dose taken. Why? Because your body's having trouble synthesizing what? Energy for use. Your body's, you know, the uh, it's a myochondrial uncoupler. Your, your myochondria is struggling to synthesize energy for the cell. And this is just being burnt off and heat is being released, okay? So fatigue, extreme. Lethargy. Lethargy, extreme. Again, depending on the dosage. Um, you know, if you're training, if you're a hard training bodybuilder, bodybuilding, fitness, athletics, and you're taking DMP, it's a lot harder to work out. You know, you have to, it's, it's for amount, for the amount of central nervous stimulation, you know, how, how hard you're trying versus, uh, you know, what you're doing it, this is a no go for bodybuilding and fitness and athletics. Okay. And we're going to talk about, uh, why it is better to diet, not on this stuff even without the cons, okay? Uh, okay, fatigue, lethargy, we talked about that. Let's talk about toxicity. Is it toxic? Is DMP toxic? From what I know, okay, DMP, in terms of kidney, liver specifically, we are talking little, so almost none to mild toxicity, okay? Again, this is depending on dose taken, but you know, if you want to sum it up, during an effective dose, we are talking low to mild toxicity. So is there a danger there? Yes, there is, but it's pretty low, okay, comparably. Um, let's talk about cataracts. Another huge con with DMP is depending on dose taken, how long, and obviously genetics, it can cause cataracts. Now, you don't want to deal with this, okay? You really do not want to deal with cataracts. Uh, another thing too is, is that, you know, when you're urinating uh, and or sweating, the DMP is coming out, guys. Okay, you are the the DMP is coming out. Uh, let's see, and here's another problem. Last con, other long term side side effects are not really uh, they haven't been established. They're not well known. Okay, so uh, just because you know I've listed it off here in the cons, we don't have uh, you know down the road uh, DMP could be uh, a heavy carcinogen, and we don't know. Okay, we don't know. It could cause cancer, and we don't know because we don't have the long-term 
a data on it, and I haven't seen it. So, uh, you know, is it? Remember, this is coming from uh, DMP is coming from uh, the first uh, extraction is coming from uh, TNT dynamite. Okay, so you know, so it's 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 it's, it's an absolutely synthetic compound. Is it is it safe long term? How carcinogenic is it? We don't know. We just don't know. So. That's another reason on top of all of them, if that wasn't enough cons. Let's get into dosage, okay? Now, I gotta explain this thoroughly. My dosage to you guys, if you're gonna use this, is none. Why? Why, because, because the same as insulin, if you watch my Insulin Unleashed video, in good faith, I cannot give you guys a dosage. I know there's plenty of people out there, guys and girls, that will do almost anything to get in shape, okay? And I've heard of this stuff. I've, I've seen the horror stories. I was watching a video last week on how somebody, how uh, this teenager, this teenager started, did an anabolic steroids. He posted all this stuff. This, this teenager did an anabolic steroid cycle before he even started working out. He did a steroid cycle before he even worked out. He did a steroid cycle for, I think it was a couple months. Didn't even go to the gym. He just wanted to get big before he went to the gym. Okay, so, so in terms of dosage, I am not giving a dosage for DMP, even though, even though DMP could arguably uh, be used short term for weight loss, and it has been under doctor supervision in the past in medical studies. Also, it's just too dangerous, and not only that, because you're not getting uh, pharmaceutical DMP, you're getting something refined or pulled from this, that, and then they're. This is not made in a pharmaceutical setting. And even if it was, I still wouldn't uh, tell you guys to use it. It's just, again, what the, what's the bottom line? The lethal dose is too close to the effective dose. It's not safe. Don't risk your life for something that, uh, you know, you can, get, you can get equal or better fat burning results by just dieting correctly. Guess what? You don't need a myochondrial uncoupler to lose weight and burn calories if you just eat less or you eat correctly, okay? So let's get it, oh man, we're gonna get into this in a second. So last thing you need to know, and we're gonna close this video out, any additional information on DMP, dinitrophenol, what do I need to give you guys? Here it is, pay attention. There are different types of fat burners for bodybuilding, fitness, and athletics, okay? There's different types of fat burners. We've got stimulants, we've got HGH and HGH uh, um, derivatives. We've got alpha and uh, beta adrenergic receptor agonists, think clenbuterol, ephedrine. Uh, we have uh, myochondrial couplers, DMP. But, and obviously, DMP is a my uh, myochondrial uncoupler. But here's the punchline. Here's the punchline, guys. What's the punchline? Even though, even though DMP is an extreme fat burner and it works, okay, it works. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Between all the cons, which I've already hammered into your head, if you're working out, you're trying to you're trying to work out hard, diet down, a bodybuilder for fitness or photo shoot. I don't know what. Even if you're even if you're uh, you know besides all the cons, it's going to be way harder to work out. You're going to have less energy to work out, and it can it can cause uh, muscle loss too. Okay, so. And so the thing is, is, is really, you know, if you just uh, change what you're eating, eat less, you know, carnivore diet, and if you're doing carnivore, switch to leaner meats, uh, you know, calories in, calories out kind of thing, you're getting your protein, you're, you're eating correctly, you don't need some stupid DMP, okay? So, you know, and the thing is people, I guess I'll just end with this, people think uh, or do think, oh, we're at about 20 minutes. So people think that, uh, what is it? Protein makes you fat, okay? If you eat just pure protein, it cannot, it's, you're, it's gonna be oxidized. Your body's not gonna turn that into, into fat. So the thing is, is that, you know, if you needed to, which almost nobody needs to, if you ate just lean proteins, you're gonna get ripped and shredded to the bone. You, you would, you know, you could, you could kill yourself with how lean you're, you can get from just eating lean protein alone. So the thing is, is that you think you really need DMP no, you don't. Not not from a nutritional standpoint. You can you can diet, and you know when I did a when I when I did a show, I got to about five percent body fat. That's I think it was below yeah below five percent body fat. Just doing what? 
just eating carnivore, leaner, a, a leaner carnivore, still a, still a fat, but a leaner carnivore diet. So the thing is you don't need, and I got leaner, uh, you know, I won't say if I've used DMP or not, uh, you know, I don't want to encourage that, but you know, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, I've gotten leaner from doing my diet correctly than using uh, a diet with DMP, a less than uh, practical diet with DMP. So guys, stay safe, stay healthy, Seth Spartan here, do everything safely, legally under doctor supervision, and just take care of your body. God only gave you one. So DMP, that's everything you need to know in a nutshell. And again, I would never recommend this for anybody. Seth Spartan, and we are out of here. Boom.